What up, though? It's your girl, no bra, Breezy. It's your boy, Yobi Yo. And I got a special guest in the building. Go ahead and tell the world who you are. My name is Alex from Alex Miller Credit Repair. You can find us on Instagram, Alex Miller Credit Repair, or on Facebook, Alex Miller Credit Repair as well. It's lit, you guys. Yes, Make sir. sure you pull up. Shout out to Alex Miller and shout out to our uh, sponsors, Urban Bubble Ball. Click, click, set it on the field. Me and T Mobile. All right, we back, we back, we back on the Welcome Morning Show. is going down. Great. We got a special guest in the building. Go ahead and tell the world who you are. My name is Alex Miller, the founder of Alex Miller Credit Repair. Alex Miller. <laughs> I was trying to sound like you. It was cool. So, the founder of Alex Miller Credit Repair. So, what made you like want to get into helping people's credit? So, how I started off, right, true story, is that... um. I didn't have a job, right, and my mom was struggling, going through some different things, and she was, um, her car, it was about a car, her car was giving out, the lights went out, uh, oil leaking, mom's car smoking everywhere, and it was pretty embarrassing, you know what I'm saying, to see my mom have to drive a car like that around the city um, of Atlanta, and um, I started studying credit, I didn't have no money at that time, I just lost my job, and I was just like, how are these people buying these cars with no money down why does a certain group of people go to the car dealership they don't put no money down or if they do it's just a little bit of money and they can buy a mercedes and still pay the same monthly car payment as another group of people who's driving honda accords and they're paying so much more how is this happening so i started studying credit and um, I, I love to read, and I got deep into the laws of credit, like the Fair Credit Reporting Act, uh, things like this, government legislations. And I, I, I became obsessed with it. And I started formulating these letters and sending them off to credit bureaus and creditors. And in the beginning, I didn't have no success. But after about five or six tries, I actually found that there was a loophole in the actual law that regulates credit. And I started utilizing what I believe was a loophole against the creditors and the collection agencies. And my mom's credit in 90 days, it went from a 450 to a 757 across the board. In 90, 90 days? In, nine, in less than 90 days. <laughs> In both less than 90 place. days. Mm, okay. And when I found this, when, when, when I discovered this, this the elevator pitch. I went crazy. Because I'm intrigued. You know, um, I went crazy with it, I became obsessed. We traded my mom's car in, we got her a brand new vehicle. My mom was able to move, get a better upgraded apartment. Um, at that time, I, I fixed my own credit. And I got a bunch of crazy cards. I didn't do the right thing, right? Um, I did go to the club and order bottles and stand yeah, up on the table. You gotta I up. did that. <laughs> and and even in that, that mistake, way. yeah, and even in that mistake, and I, of course I wasn't able to pay for all of the stuff, right? Because I didn't have no job, but I have excellent credit. I was able to do it again and fix my credit again, y'all. After you did that. After I made all those mistakes. And then my mom started telling people at work, and they started giving me referrals, and the rest was history. So, right. <laughs> yeah, back to this yeah. less than 90 days thing. Yeah. So, the less than 90 days, was this, like, something that y'all had to, like, put work in every single day? Like, was it something you had to monitor every day, or? So, what, how it works is, you get a credit monitoring site, uh, a monthly credit monitoring report. Uh, we use a company called Identity IQ. I find that it is one of the most accurate credit monitoring sites. Um, everybody has this free stuff, Credit Karma, right? Mm -hmm. I have Credit Karma. Cr however, though, Credit Karma is not accurate. In in in. Mm -hmm. In a score sense, like okay. Credit Karma make you think you can go jump up and lease a Bentley. Right, because your scores are so high, but in actuality, they use a different scoring model than the what? FICO system. Yeah. Right. Uh, so, exactly. So you can also go get your feelings hurt if you pull up at a car dealership and wow. you think you got a 750 score, and when they really pull your credit, you like six twenty. So is that not a false advertisement? 
Hmm. Um, well, I guess it wouldn't be false advertisement because they're using a different scoring model outside of the FICO score. But Identity IQ is what we recommend. Mm -hmm. And all you got to do is get a copy of your Identity IQ, send us the login credentials. What we're going to do is a free credit analysis for you, right? I'll do it for you. I believe that everybody should know exactly what their scores are and where they really stand. So we do a free credit analysis for everybody. And then we will review it with you to let you know what needs to be disputed and deleted from your credit report in order for your scores to go through the roof. So you can start living your best life and get that dream car you want to drive, get that dream house you want to live in. So this is kind of like, it's kind of a question and a statement at the same time. Cause yeah. I kind of feel, I feel a certain kind of way, but then it's like, I don't know. So, you know, you're saying like, so when you fix your credit so you can live your best life, you could draw the car you want to drive, you can live in the house you want to live in. Like, what if that's not why people want to do it? Like, how else do you do you get those people? Because, like, um, I never really made car payments before. I don't plan on doing it. So I'm not even really worried about my credit score to, like, get a the car that I want because I'm going to get the car and I'm not going to pay monthly for it. I just don't. I don't like bills. But, like, so how do you get, like, those people that just... The in their head, they want to be like, I just want, I just want to see that number. Okay, that that's great. Um, that you just want to see that number, and and believe it or not, there's a huge percentage of our customers. They're not in a dire need to buy a house right. or a car, right. but they want to make sure that if they choose and they're in the right to position. pull that trigger, yeah. they can just go forward yeah. with ease. Yeah. Sure. So because credit repair. Um, it's, we have the most aggressive credit cleaning strategy in this business, hands down, right? Um, but it's still not an overnight process. Uh, what our competitors do in about two years, it takes us about three to four months to get done. And because it's still a three to four month process, and sometimes you can go back and forth with creditors to mm -hmm. get things deleted. Sometimes stuff might get sold to a collection agency and reappear. Right. So that can stretch it out to like four months. Because it's not an overnight process, I just suggest everyone <clears throat> to start the process immediately. Right. You know, so because we have families. We have moms, some of us have kids. You just never know when you're going to need to um, apply for a medical card or something. You know, a lot of girls, they like to get their boobs and tummy tucks, fat transfers. That may not be like an medical emergency, but that same credit card is owned by a company called Care Credit. And you can use that for dental work or for surgeries, you know, and things of that nature. So Home you might want to just do that. Go ahead. Hold the fuck up. <laughs> Go back using this. Y'all getting y'all they getting the bodies off the credit. <laughs> yeah, they don't know. I mean they not y'all, but just they. they them. They he gonna make me come on Thursday. Care, care credit. credit. Care credit. See, who care I, credit? I don't want your info. I just wanna see what it looked like. Who care credit? Care so where credit. do I get this care credit? So yeah, I'm trying care to figure this out too. We I have a relationship <laughs> with care credit, the corporate oh, office, office right? We have our own All personal right. rep that works with our company. Wow. And um, Care Credit, you can use, like, see these teeth? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to get some. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm trying to get. Right? Yeah, so, I'm trying to get those. Exactly. Those. I just didn't strike right a check, you know, for $30,000 for teeth. I use my Care Credit card. You know what I mean? So you pay that back monthly. I pay it back yeah. monthly. Responsibly, you know. And you can so, use this for a lot of different things. Like a lot of the dancers. How long did it take you to get them teeth? Um, it took 10 days. So, so I went to make the so mold. Wait, wait, where do I? I came back next week and I had pearly white teeth for life. Easy. Life. For life, you say? Life. Yeah, they said I can smoke with it, I can drink, I can eat candy, I can eat chocolate, hot foods, and the color of my teeth will never ever change. So who did that for you? Um, I had a doctor in Give me his info off air. I, I don't want everybody to be going. I don't want everybody to be going. We're going to have a little no. bit more talking no. off air. Because no. that's what I'm thinking about credit this for. Is, this is I'm the stuff you got to pay for. I'm trying to pay for the card. There's a lot of benefits. You got to subscribe to our YouTube. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to be on TV. Absolutely. Absolutely. What about these Malcolm X glasses you got? Because I like them. So, thank you for that. Um, they're actually made by Maybach. They, right? Um, oh, my Maybach got the glasses? Yeah, yeah. Um, Hold on. It's, um, I, I they got like the sign on the oh, side. I see 300 I of see them it. was made. You know what I'm saying? And I actually swiped one of my oh. credit cards for this, too. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. So you know, a lot of people so walk around with cash, right? We, we take pictures on Instagram and social media, and, and, and I'm not down anybody with big wads of cash to our face, like telephone. Yeah, yeah. That's cool, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. To a certain extent. However, though, you can carry more money on your credit cards than you sure. can in your yeah. pockets with cash. You're right. Just, Imagine wearing skinny jeans with, with money that big. I don't, you know, even, I, don't I don't even like yeah. showing off my money. Exactly. I'm on niggas. probation right now for having too much cash. <laughs> <laughs> for real? That's <laughs> funny. Too much so, flexing. Too because, much flexing. Lord Jesus. Hold on. So, what's the nice watch? Did back. you get your nice watch with your car too? Because believe it or not, um, Johnny Dang, one of my favorite jewelers. Okay. Um, you I have actually a favorite jeweler. Yeah, Johnny Dang. That, that's my buddy. I, my preferred jeweler. And I got this Rolex watch off of a credit card as well. You can walk another another situation. You can live the life you always dreamed of responsibly. If you don't have the cash, nobody walks around, normal people, average people, right. with thirty or forty thousand dollars to go spend on a watch. Right. But you can walk into Johnny Dang's jewelry store, or any jewelry store of that nature, and fill out an application for a credit card, and you can make your fiance's purchase to buy that engagement ring off of a credit card. You know they say we got to have six months of our savings saved up before right. you buy a um, engagement ring. Well, I didn't do that. You know what I'm saying? I just use the credit card, you know, and so that's how. And, and, and then you must pay your bills responsibly every sure. month. You know, you don't want to have excellent credit, um, get, get approved for all of these things, and be back in the same situation that next you year. Yeah. I mean, if you do, we do take repeat customers. But I'm saying you don't want to put yourself yeah, in that yeah, situation. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, that, yeah. Believe it or not, we do. Um, Sometimes people, you know, even though we, we do a lot of credit education on how not to get yourself back in debt or messed up again, um, sometimes people go through things. They go through hardships, loss of jobs, change of right. jobs, having to move, and then, you know, so they can't keep up. I got, with that, I so. got like, a question because, like, um, my, me and my mommy, we're, mm -hmm. like, I love my mommy. She's, like, my bestest friend, right? And so, like, could, could me and you, like, slick do her credit without her knowing? So, um, <laughs> I, I, I she wanna just want to help her, right. her to know, to know the she, element yeah. of surprise. Right, like I want to just pull up and be like, Mom, I, I want you to see to something. And then, like, she see that it's like totally I different from what, yeah, like, I, I don't want her to. Yeah. No, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. Yeah. I totally so I need you to start understand. now, and then, like, Christmas come, and then, like, Cause I had planned on like I really wanted to like buy my mommy a car and I wanted to take it to her job and I wanted to quit for her. Wow. So if we do that first and then I can quit for wow. her like after. That would be amazing. So I'm not sure we could legally oh. um, do her credit without Talking her to knowing. You online. I know on her social media number. I know her driving license. I don't know if we could do it on air that way. But we do have a couples package where we can take a look at yours and, and mom's at the oh, same yeah, time yeah, yeah. for a discounted rate. Okay. Um, and and, and oh, she would have to get the credit monitoring site. We, we can talk to her and just do a free credit analysis for her. And you can probably make a decision and say, Mom, I think I'm going to move forward on our behalf doing our credit. I'm not gonna tell her that. You're not going to tell her? Hey, no, I just want to like, literally, her, right? I just want to like, Mommy, look. Let us just talk with her. Okay. What well, was this? Too and much do the analysis, and then <laughs> you can move forward with her. You know, okay. if you decide or not. Okay. okay. Yeah, you gotta set so, it up like we're gonna go well, check our she, credit, she, she, and that, then exactly. Then you know, what I'm saying just don't let her know that you are moving forward, but you move forward, and then so y'all can email her. me yeah. instead of her. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You might she just write her email off. Right, write, write her email wrong. She, she would have to write sign off. Y'all know how many whoopers I got in school for four years. <laughs> oh God. <laughs>
So I know myself, I paid over six, seven thousand dollars on. We got callers online. On pretty much credit, online. credit repairs and loan that had pretty much just jacked me over. You know what I'm saying? So how you feel about that? So I really hate that. I want to be the first one to say that I feel your pain. Um, credit repair, unfortunately, is a very scamish business. Um, it's very easy to tell somebody, hey, I'm going to help you get approved for a house or a car in three months. Give me a thousand dollars and you never see that person again. And unfortunately, there's a lot of dishonest people who is in the credit repair business, taking advantage of folks, scamming them and making false promises. Uh, how I look at it is that there's two groups of credit repair companies. There's one, well three. One, the first group is people who actually do credit repair, but they don't know how to get the negative accounts off. So it can last two or three years before you see results. There's a second group of people in the credit repair industry. Um, there's this network marketing company um, who's hiding under the umbrella of credit repair mm -hmm. and they invite you to these hotel pep rally meetings and you mm -hmm. pay your money and then you walking out the door you came there to get your credit fixed and you're walking out the door leaving telling people that you are a credit repair specialist now that's not wow. helping nobody and then what? unfortunately what there's a big group of scammers taking advantage of the people <laughs> After I studied these laws of credit, I wound up getting a job at one of the largest credit bureaus in America. Um, because of the non-compete clause, I cannot mention that company's Ooh, you, name. Exactly. About right? to say, don't be getting us in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> uh, however, though, so I was able to learn credit repair at a corporate level. So my skills just went through the roof. Our, we have a system called the Three Round Burst is the most aggressive credit cleaning strategy in the credit repair business. Each round is 40 days of aggressive disputing. I mean, we're, we're seeing results with getting some of the toughest accounts off people's credit that most credit repair companies would not touch. For example, we delete bankruptcies off people's credit report. We How the hell you delete a bankruptcy off no. your credit? Deleted, sent to cyberspace, never to come back again. Done. And a bankruptcy by law, right, is supposed to be on your credit report for 13 years. You got a bankruptcy on your credit report. This is going to prevent you from getting financed for a bubble gum. But people come to us in less than 90 days. We're able to delete bankruptcies, home foreclosures. I, I'm deleting two and three car repos at a time for certain clients. Who I got never have one of those, trouble. but what about... <laughs> what about... What about... <laughs> okay, so... Tax uh, liens, home foreclosures, student loans. hospital bills. I about student to, loans. Where is it, there we go right student there. Loans. Sally May. Sally May. Can we get Sally May up off of Listen. Student loan debt, right, is the first piece of debt that most consumers ever get to experience with. Fresh out of high school, they're piling student loans on us, right? We go to school on average for to spend a hundred thousand on education to come out and get a twenty-five thousand dollar a year job. So a lot of student loans, people are not able to pay those things back. Now, here's what the gray area, right? Here's why I get so many customers because I tell people up front how this stuff works. I can delete anything off your credit report, but the debt that you owe will always remain with the company you owe it to. Uh, so I'm not going to people's computers, right, like and deleting saying, the like, debt. Oh, I no longer owe you. Exactly. It just ain't going to show. It's of just course. not going to show. So we're freeing up your credit, That's fine. getting you a proof. So you can get a proof shit. Yeah. <laughs> Them niggas ain't got nothing. I'm doing all of this off so, the hustle okay. muscle. Period. They ain't showed me how to do that. Okay, Mr. Alex, they I got a shit out of me. Welcome to scamming back 101, nigga. Exactly. I'm not playing so with you. So earlier we were talking about Fuck the teeth. You, Sally. So, <laughs> and then you say, you know, sometimes women's, they be getting bodies on credit and shit like that. Yeah. So, like, what about when you was too. actually sick? And shit, and you go to the emergency room, and they're sending this shit to your house all the fucking time. I'm not never fucking paying you. So, um, we do credit repair. What you're talking about is a totally different business called debt consolidation. So I, so I owe them though. So the debt you owe will always remain with the company, and yeah. you are obligated to pay on that debt. However, though, from my perspective, as doing credit repair, that's not my business. Facts. Whether you pay these folks or not. I didn't know. So like. 
So you can just get it gone, and they can still, I can still owe them, and then you just got to Most go people. So why do you have to owe the hospital, though? Like, I'm not understanding, like, crazy, if I'm right? sick, yeah. you, I need help. I yeah, cannot help right. myself, so, like, why do I have to owe you? you? That don't make any sense to me. But now I have insurance, but I'm saying beforehand, you know, like, I don't know. I totally But, understand. like, why the fuck do I have to pay you if I don't have it, like... Uh, it, it, yeah. You would believe that yeah, my health should come first, right? My girl's still paying bills. Ooh, shit. The mic f fell for you. It, okay. It fell for you. Maybe it was. Maybe it was. I don't know. You know, I don't know. But, uh, so, yeah, like, my girl's still paying bills from, like, she got cancer in 2012, and she's still. Did you, having ask, a, did you ask to, to her business like this? It's, it's, it's public. Okay. Like, she knows. All right. Like, yeah. She's so Sorry about that. Public. Lee is a speaker okay. uh, for um, uh, leukemia and stuff like that, so okay. it's all good. Um, but That's yeah, so it's just like, too. yeah, it is. Um, it's just like they still are coming for bills that were gone and then reappeared. And now they talking about, oh, you got to pay this, pay this. So first of all, I want to say I believe in God and the higher power that he going to turn that thing around for your girlfriend. Oh, Amen. she beat it. She yeah, beat it already. Right. Yeah, it's Amen. already, it's been beat. Yeah. Amen. 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 Um, so how that part works with hospital bills, right? So your girl went to the doctor. They gave her a huge bill. She would come to me. I would be able to delete that bill completely off our credit report. Now, the creditor has the right to sell the debt to a collection agency. Mm -hmm. So sometimes the collection agencies yeah. put the stuff back. Uh -huh. But if they do that, it's normally within those 90 days that we're still working on the credit. Yeah. So we'll so you just knock it out of the park again. again. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. That's how it works. So is there a such thing as no credit? Like people that yes. don't have any credit. That's me. Absolutely. I mean, I got a little so we are, we, are we talking children? No. You're okay. talking about adults. My wife right here. Um, she had a zero credit score across the board. How is that even possible? I mean, she if you never had a credit, credit card yeah. and she never went to college. You know what I mean? And so, but she's very damn successful even though she didn't go to college. She took an entrepreneurship to route. You don't have to go to college. So, so she had a zero she credit probably, So your mama didn't get the license in your name. <laughs> <laughs> like my mama did, right? I had lights. Like, and, and you know, funny. I had like her. You didn't have a phone bill in your name either? No, I had, I had like, a phone bill. I had, I had a phone bill. I had a phone bill in my name. You had a phone bill in your name? <laughs> She had a zero credit score um, across the board, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. And what I was able to do, we have these things available to us called trade lines. Okay. Basically, a trade line um, is an account. You can open up in your name or an account somebody opens up in their name. And you can borrow the perfect payment history of another human being and put that on your credit. Hold on. Say that again. Rewind, that's rewind, right. Rewind, that, rewind, that's rewind, rewind. very I legal. Just, As a matter of fact, to close the door. you can <laughs> borrow somebody's. I, if you come to me, I can match you up with a person where you can borrow their perfect payment history on their credit cards that they've been paying for five and ten years and add that legally, try merge it on your credit report. So did you See, this is stuff black people hers? don't know. This is I stuff our folks don't know what we can do. To hers. Yeah. And we created two credit building products, and in 90 days, my wife was got approved for a four hundred fifty thousand dollar house. We've been living in this house for 60 days now. It's on her name. It's not even on my name. And she had a zero credit score um, six months ago. Man, I be wanting to know. So this stuff is powerful. What I'm doing. I start asking a little bit more personal you questions. You know, now I'm rethinking I mean, if yeah. I want to be a housewife. <laughs> yeah, I, I just got a dog. I got a dog. He needs grass. He needs some, he needs some space. He needs grass. He needs a backyard. See, He's try. lonely. He, he needs need to run backyard. around and stuff. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> oh my God. We give God. people yeah, approved for house cards, credit cards, and personal loans every day. Tell us tell us what we can meet So there's no one that you can't help. You can help everybody. I can help everyone more than one. Once. What about grannies that have like so long, you know, grannies and grandpas, they like, they did their thing and now they're just like not doing anything. Credit financial institutions love old people. Oh. If you have a grandmother or a grandfather, it is easier for them to get a 850 credit score than it would be for someone my age, 38, 39, 40 years old. 
Because of the older you are, the more history you have at the credit bureaus. True. And when you start approaching that 780 score, 800s and 800s, it's golden. You can go borrow a million dollars with 800 credit score. What? So I'm if I run off on up. the plug, how they gonna find me? <laughs> <laughs> or, or you got your million dollars. <laughs> okay, or you need please. to take your... You need to take your granny and just take her to go get a million dollars. And then just, if she died, you know what I'm saying? She hey, died, but you, know, you, got, hey. you got it out already. Listen. So it's like, yeah, we, you know coming, we, we pulling up Thursday. Right. So real quick, <laughs> before we get into another uh, quick music break, I want to know, funny. like, what is the number one thing? And I, and I want you to answer and don't say student loans and don't say a credit card. What is, like, the number one thing or, like, something that's really big that can... Screw it up. I was gonna say a cuss word, but for those of us that are watching that don't use burger language, what is like something really big that can screw you all the way up? Your car. You wanna be careful with your car and your credit cards because your vehicle is an installment loan and you get so many points on your credit report for having a vehicle in your name, right? And Even if I bought it? Well, if you bought it and you paid it off, then you don't get any credit. This is for notes. Right? This, this is, is for, okay. for notes. These are for notes. Car payment. Okay. Never okay. get no late payments. A late payment will drop your credit score late. 100 points. Oh. And there is nothing. One that late payment? One late payment. Raise right. your score down by 100 so, points. My cousin got okay. like fucking seven yeah. repos. Yeah. Okay. Tell your cousin come holla at me. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Give so, your cousin my number. Oh, All right. She need help. Okay, I got so she what need about the um, okay, so late payments are late notices that you get in the mail or late like thirty day late, late payments. Ah, uh, okay. When they drop on your credit score, yeah, score, okay. What, thirty day late. They about to that cut makes your car off. Yeah, okay, Done. that makes sense because they can be a couple of days late right? sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I be having they to switch money money. around, throw it around, put it in, and like we all do. So it might not be. On that day, thirty they days. Get, they you don't get want it that week. Yeah. Oh no, I ain't never. I'll probably I'll get nervous done. around fourteen days. I'm now. never. I don't even do that. It's then you good. It's being. It normally be in the week. I just don't really just pay. Don't. Right. Okay. I'm trying so, to get it to where it's automatic, but. Eight. Eight. Okay, we back. We had a little music briggity briggity break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, we was on here. We, it, it was a little longer because we was getting excited back here. You, you know. feel me? Girls trying to get a new Beamer. I understand. That X7, oh, X6 is beautiful. Yeah. I fuck with that, but the X7, you know, since you yeah. said some, yeah. is what I do want, but, but I ain't got no kids shit. to put in that damn car. So me and my kid, that's a dog, you feel me? Go hard. In a, in a fucking $82,000 car. You can handle it. I, yeah, I know it. Right, before, we get, before, we get, before we get too deep, so you were talking, but we were talking about trade lines. Um, for the people that don't know what trade lines are or how they can um, acquire trade lines, can you kind of absolutely break that down? So, so everything on your credit report is considered a trade line, mm -hmm. right? That's a credit term. Uh, your house, your car, your credit cards, and loans. Anything you finance in your name that's reported on your credit, that's considered to be a trade line. So we have all the positive trade lines. Those are things that we pay on well, on time. The negative trade lines are things like collection accounts, charge-offs, oh, old okay. hospital bills, and stuff like so that that we actually try to deliver. Why the hell them. are my weak-ass apartments not reporting my payments? Because I've overpaid for the past three years, because and that shit house. is not on my on my credit totally understand so because you aren't financing the apartment in your name you just like pretty I'm much I'm just renting. you're yeah. renting um, they don't report it however there is a reporting company that does report it's called rent grow rent grow .com. you can nuts. sign up with them and they are going to report your monthly rent on your credit report and it's going to give you points but you got to go through rent grow Dot com. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. So for all of those that probably live in like older buildings with older companies or like the lower class properties of a major company. Okay, y'all, because I ain't know that and so I was trying to get the fuck out. Yeah. Go to rentgrow.com and if they you allow them to report your rent on your credit for like twelve months, mm -hmm. it's gonna help you um when you're going through the home loan process. That's okay. Right. 
So really quick, so um, your office is moving from Sugarland to downtown. Yes. You're, you guys are expanding. It's a really big thing for you guys. So give us like a little brief intro into that. Like how did you guys come into that? And like what is that going to bring for the customers that you currently have and then the new customers? Um, so the good news is that we are a growing company. We have uh, 52 employees and we are doubling our size in the next six months, right? That's why we get in this new office. Um, so we have customers nationwide, all 50 states, but if you physically show up Thursday to my new office, okay. we're gonna be raffling off free credit repair for people too. Whoa. I'm a big giver, oh, wow. man. That's I believe a, that you can't keep what you have unless you give it away. Seriously, seriously. But if you don't show up, then it's normally a thousand to $1,500 to get your credit clean. Ooh. So show up. And you can win a chance of getting free credit pair. Yeah, yeah. Four digits. When people hear something about four digits, they start to get to looking like, oh, I ain't gonna be able to do it. <laughs> four digits. I ain't gonna be able to show it. Four letters. But we got affordable monthly payment plans as low as two hundred fifty dollars a month. Okay. Right for three to four months. Okay. That's not bad. So within the time that you guys are working that out, as long as they pay on time, we gonna continue to work on it. Exactly. Work you see hard, how you see how pay. that's a full right. circle because. When you pay us on time, then we get this done on time. On time. We teach you how to pay on time. Absolutely. Yeah. You don't, you feel they me? They funnel you. So y'all need me habits. for the marketing exactly. services. Y'all see how I just did that full yeah, circle? Exactly. <laughs> y'all see that? So um, on Thursday, you guys are going to be raffling off free credit repair services as well as meeting with everyone. Yes. So um, earlier I heard a side conversation about doubling the team. What if we have people that maybe like did their own research and maybe that they feel like you know they could help you guys and also use the knowledge from you guys like do you have any services as to where you know you're looking for certain people are you looking for a receptionist i don't know coffee makers we're looking for sales people okay. so we need to hire at least 12 to 15 more sales people to help fill up the new office on louisiana street um, so we're always looking for good salespeople that has at least th two to three years of professional sales background on their resume. Calm, if you're looking for a job, my lowest salesperson is bringing home about fifteen hundred a week. With our highest salespeople is bringing home around six thousand dollars a week. Um, it's an honest living, nine to six work hours, and um, you can make some amazing money and um, help a lot of people in the process. Right, right. That's definitely that's good. That's really good that you guys are giving them opportunities and giving, you know, people a chance to, like, make money and help people. Because some, I feel like a lot of times people have that battle within themselves if they want to make money, if they want to help people. Yes. So with this business, you're doing both. You right, know, it's right. a twofold blessing. You're making good money and you're actually changing lives by fixing people's credit at the same time. So I want to get into some personal questions really quick. Okay. So I'm not going to say too much, but uh -oh. off air, you know, we were talking about physical situations that you had going on and like things that you were going through like what point in time like when you were going through that did you decide like you know what fuck it i'm about to do this and this only like what was the what was the turning point in life for you that, that's a great question so um i know a lot of people are like they want to hold up this persona being so professional so perfect that they don't like to share their story I'm totally opposite. Um, I believe in sharing my testimony um, and letting people know a little bit about my struggles from my past because that's how you help save people, right? Uh -huh. um, God will save you from the dirt so you can go back and grab somebody else who's still there. That, that's my train of thought. So six years ago, um, I guess I used to be a party animal, popping bottles, um, having champagne wars and clubs, standing on the tables. That was me. You know I what I mean? With it. That was me. You know, <laughs> I'm the king of the strip clubs, right? And um, I got into a fight with some a guy, and um, I beat his butt, but he shot me. He shot me several times, and um, one of the bullets was so close to my heart, the doctors was not able to remove that bullet, so it stayed in me for six years. And um, the night that that happened, I knew. That the street life is something that you did not want. I didn't want to do. Right. You know. And and it was just if the street life don't get you, the lifestyle will. That's how I looked yeah. at it. 
So I gave up the clubs. I mean, I still go to hookah spots and stuff. I'm not no square, no lame, all right? But, you know, as for doing the things I used to do, I no longer do those things. And I knew that I had a gift with credit, you know, because I helped a lot of people. And I was hustling six years ago. I was fixing credit for $200. Like, give me 100 <laughs> and I'll hook you up. Yeah. And, and, and and when I laid in the hospital bed, I said, okay, God, I got a gift. I got a talent. You're obviously saving my life. I'm here. How can I take my life to a totally different level? Uh -huh. And I dug real deep. And um, I was sleeping on my mom's sofa, as a matter of fact, when I got back from the hospital. And um, I got back into the business. And just last year, God has been so good. <clears throat> in the last 11 months, our company... Um, brought in revenue of three million dollars last 11 months and we're looking to do 15 million in the next 12 months so wow. it took a lot of hard work so it took a lot of is sacrifice your new, is your new like bundle gonna be like co-owner cfo something on this like so notice how i introduced myself mm -hmm. exactly. in the beginning i said i'm alex miller i'm the founder of mm -hmm. alex miller credit mm -hmm. Credit. Mm -hmm. Cause my wife is the CEO. Okay. Uh -oh. And then baby, and then baby. Baby gonna get a job. Soon as baby come out the womb. <laughs> baby baby gotta. Why can't baby? Baby gotta start work doing credit repair. You know? Yeah. Th three months old. Three, three months. Three yeah. months. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's good. That's really good, and that's inspiring. So for a lot of people that you know, if you guys may feel like. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to start. I don't know how to like get myself together. You guys hit up Alex Miller. You guys come to the um, ribbon cutting ceremony. To the, to the ribbon uh, cutting ceremony. What time? What time? It's Thursday. gonna be twelve noon lunch. So you, okay. if you got a job, you can just come on your lunch break. Twelve noon to two p.m. Okay. But be there at twelve, before. right? Because yeah. I went to an interview short. on my break. Yeah. Did you get a job? I did, Amazing. and then I I went back to work. I quit. Amazing. And then I went to the other <laughs> job. And then it was like, women, boom. Amazing. But I'm one of those people that like, as soon as I get mad, I'm quitting. I'm quitting. Because I can't, I can't be here. I can't be here. I can't. Because no, I used to be one of those people that I would deal and deal and deal and deal. And then have like a bad home life. Yeah. And no then like did. when I start figuring out that like, my sanity and my well-being is Your more peace. important than a job that I'm really not making no money. You feel me? like I don't own shit up ahead. Like I just gotta come here and do what the fuck you want. Me. No, <laughs> I'm quitting this motherfucker. You feel me? That's why um, I pay my people very well. Like I say, the lowest person on the getting. total pole make about fifteen hundred a week. <laughs> the highest bring home about six thousand dollars a week. My mentor told me. You know six and four. Y'all you know, know what six and four is, right? Tell me. Motherfucking more money than they make right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what I'm trying to I'm say, right y'all, is you feel me? Like if you like, even some people, like I said, you know, like my mom is driving a car that, like, if you guys do one month working with Mr. Miller and his company, and you guys do the highest, you make the money, you know, and you do your job correctly, you don't spend any money, you can purchase a whole car in one goddamn month. You can. Yeah. We you gotta, gotta be disciplined. How much money I'm getting for that? For that pitch right there, I just did. We got it. You already got it. You already got it. You already got it. You already got it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No worries. You know, it's all it's all fun and games for right now. But on a serious note, go ahead really quick. Give them the spill on Thursday again. Thursday, uh, 440 Louisiana Street in the Lyric Tower. Uh, Alex Miller Credit Repair. We are inviting everyone to come out. Our suite number is 575, right? Which is at security downstairs to our ribbon cutting ceremony. We're going to be giving a lot of prizes away, free credit repair, raffle tickets, free food, free drinks. Come check us out and discounts on getting trade lines and credit building products as well. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so lit. You know, um, hey, we, we minorities, we colored. So, oh, a lot of us need that. Like I said, up here, I had life at a very early age, okay? <laughs>